everyone. This is an introduction to regular polygons. And um, this is where polygons, all sides and uh, angles are equal. So for example, if we have a equilateral triangle, all the sides will be equal. And so will all the angles. And we know that a triangle has 180 degrees. So um, we're going to fill out this chart. And I have it as uh, stage equals the shape. So our N is where we're starting. So we need at least three sides uh, to make a polygon. Um, and that would be the triangle. So I also included sequence notation. So when we get into um, uh, inductive reasoning, uh, we'll be used to that. So basically, our first shape is a triangle, so that's number one. Our second shape is a square, number two. Our pentagon is number three, and our hexagon is number four. So what we're going to do is calculate the number of sides in terms of the degrees in terms of N. So this is our N. So what we're going to do is write 1 times 180 which equals uh, 180. Uh, for the square, that's going to be 2 times 180, and that equals 360. These are degrees. And 3 would be 3, the pentagon, times 180, which is uh, 540. So what we're doing is we keep adding 180. All right, and then you continue on. So you're just going to write N times 180. All right, now we want to write our formula um, in terms of number of sides. So if we look at this, we have a 1 here and a 3 here. We could look at this, a 2 here, a 4, a 3, a 5. Um, a 4 would be a 6. So that would be U sub uh, 6 if you use sequence notation. So what that would be to get the 1, and we have a number of sides to get a 1, we want to write this as N, which is our N. We need a 1, so what we're going to write is 3 minus 2 times 180. Okay, because 3 minus 2 is 1. All right, and the second one we would write 4 minus 2 times 180. And for the pentagon, we would write 5 minus 2 times 180. And so on. So this would be N minus 2 times 180. Because the difference between 6 and 4 is 2, and 5 and 3, and 4 and 2. So our total degrees, and I already kind of wrote them here, would be 180. All right. Um, this one would be 360. This would be 540. And so on. Until we get our... Um, n minus 2 times 180. So you can write the formula as u sub n equals n minus 2 times 180 degrees. And we're going to do this part later. Now here's our answers. I put all the answers here. And so this would be like uh, your first shape, that's your N. Your second shape, that this would be, uh, all of these would be 90. Our third shape, and so forth. All right, and so here are the answers. That looks a little better. Now what we want to do is fill this out using our formula. So basically, 
we already know um, the sum of the interior angles for the triangle is 180. Uh, the quadrilateral, we're, which we're calling the rectangle, is 360. The pentagon is 540. And all we did is take um, n, our number of sides is n, so 3 minus 2 times 180. So to get the hexagon, we take our number of sides, 6 minus 2 times 180 is 4 times 180. And that's going to give you um, 720. So that's going to be 720. Now, to get the, the each angle, all you're going to do is divide by the number of sides. So to get the number of uh, uh, each angle side, so for the hexagon, you take your 720 and you're going to divide that by the number of sides. So 720 divided by 6 equals 120 degrees. So each angle is 120 degrees. All right? And you can keep going forward. And this would be the formula for this. And this one would be the formula for that. So you need to try to fill all that out um, based off these two formulas. If you want, we can do another one. Let's try the, the nine-sided. So we don't have the nine-sided here, but let's try the nine-sided. So the nine-sided would be written as our nine sides equals 9 minus 2 times 180. So let's do that. So that's going to be 7 times 180, which is 1260. And then all you do is divide that by 9 because there's 9 angles. And that would be 140. All right, um, here are the answers. And uh, basically all you're doing on, on this part is just adding 180. So if I just add 180 here, I get 360. If I add 180 here, I get 900. And you can keep going um, down. Um, so let's try uh, 20 sides. So 20 sides would be um or a 20 gone i don't know what that's called but a 20 gone that would be a 20 minus 2 times 180 so that's going to be um 18 times 180 degrees so the sum of the interior angles would be 3240 degrees and to get the sum of, uh, or to get each angle separately, you just divide that number by 20. And so each of those would equal 162 degrees. And right here, this should be repeating uh, 27 degrees. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.